as I may open it with this. <laughs> because, because I really was um, between, uh, who was that? <laughs> but that's the point. Where do we get all our information and uh, ability to to handle or uh, like Jochen uh, told us, so where, where is, what's the, the background for our contributions? Where do we drink which milk? Where are we influenced in, in talking or not talking, in uh, silenting things or talking about things. Where, where do we get our ability? Where do, do we get our abilities? Our... Unsere uh, Möglichkeiten, our... Oh, yes. Isn't it abilities? Fähigkeiten? Well, I mean... Uh, uh, we don't want to go back to traumatism. <laughs> no, but uh, I think there's a, there's a joy of uh, of mixing, of mixing of, uh, of I think basically uh, you, you do you do a work uh, that you don't know to do. If, if you, I mean, you do a work. Uh, I mean, yeah, that you are not able, uh, you know, uh, but you don't know that when you don't when you don't do it. You only know it when you when you do it, and but then when you do it, you're fit for the next one. No. <laughs> I think also we uh, can do it. Never right. Only we can do it. We do it wrong <coughs> always. But the only possibility we have to do it more or less wrong, and we stay much more with our, all our memory. Work. We <coughs> say much more about our contemporary uh, time and uh, about us uh, than about the past. The past is over. And we never can get it. Uh, only every generation construct his uh, uh, their own uh, their own images of the past, and uh, we are constructing our our contemporary. But but when you when you are in a group uh, like I was now in a big group of militants of something and many young people uh, you um, you see that there is uh, big differences between uh, generations you know I mean uh, what they have on the wall is very often the same things that we had on the wall so you know 68 we, we, we kind of like discover things because they they have a uh, they have an anniversary. We don't discover them so much because they are fresh. They they need to be they need to be uh, sort of sedimentated. They need to be in a certain state for consumption. And now everybody makes. I mean, everybody makes exhibitions about 68. <laughs> I mean, uh, so, so um, at the same time, people are working and uh, collaborating and exchanging totally different from my generation. Um, there is uh, incredible know-how about uh, uh, group efficiency. Um, 
but, but we were uh, much more individualistic, wild individualistic, and uh, this would be impossible today. It would be, it would be outdated. But it would be impossible. 80% of the works that I show you about these 80s, I could not make today. There would be no possibility that it would be, that, that you could glide it through the, through this everything is, it's so sophisticated what the people have, have understood to prevent stupidity to happen and one of the stupidities is art. <laughs> so that, that's the reason why people go back to the studio and they make painting. <laughs> but let's have a look about... But, uh, but I do, do both. <laughs> I draw every day yeah, since so 30 <laughs> years. <laughs> and uh, it's for me important to survive. <laughs> yeah, perhaps no, more I was important talking than the young people. We <laughs> 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 cannot have everything. <laughs> but, uh, but I have an example from Dachau. Uh -huh. I every year, uh, some years, I uh, uh, Christmas. I got the Christmas greetings, season greetings from the director of yeah. Dachau with a wonderful uh, photograph, uh, the entrance of Dachau, the door, uh, with snow and with the uh, sunset, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and there's, uh, there's with the best wishes for the next yeah, and year. Yeah, it's a director of such as though uh, it's as you uh, it's your work. It's my as a, a, as a, she's my person. Yes, <laughs> as a, as a, and and the, and uh, uh, Volker Knigge in Buchenwald, I get uh, every year the same greetings, but there's only a card with 2,070, the next year, 80 points. No more. <laughs> and a quotation, inside the quotation of the former prisoner. But, but nothing more, only the points, and every year the same card, one point more. That's the difference how you can handle such a, a memory place. And this is about the sensibility uh, of the people who work there. There is there's something, uh, uh, you make me think about something. It's like I, I knew somebody in the, in the early 60s. Um, in Switzerland, and uh, he was he was uh, when when he was German actually, but he was living in Switzerland, and uh, so he he was w working for a big company. Director uh, was somewhere in Stuttgart, and uh, so the guy came back from from the war, and he was totally uh, lost everything and so on. So the this. <coughs> This guy in Switzerland, he sent him <coughs> a little piece of butter and uh, a little bit of chocolate and, uh, and something, you know, like that. And it was like that. It was finished. And, and the next year, he sent him again, like a little bit of butter, a little bit of chocolate and so on. And, and in the meantime, the guy had found again his... his position of CEO of a big company and he was going up the ladder and he was getting more and more normal back to life and the Swiss guy continued to send him every year exactly this quarter of butter and a little bit of thing. so it can be the, the gift or the remaining symbol can be a real punishment Memories.
Well, I can't try to speak English, but my English is a bit difficult. Uh, when I was in the conference, I was thinking that we were speaking about the uh, uh, monuments in public space, but with the permission of the authority. For example, in my case, I'm doing research about social and political graffiti on Basque Country. Um, they are on the public, uh, public space, but they don't have the permission. And sometimes the, the, the nomination that they are getting is vandalism. Mm -hmm. That is what you were uh, saying about, well, what I heard about this graffiti that appears on the monument that you made. Um, I think is to how difficult it is to speak about the public space related to the war or to the memory when the conflict is uh, yet in our society. Because, for example, now there is a new alternative in Vitoria Gastes, for example, that is the public muralist on the buildings. The void, I was doing in German. <laughs> um, is, uh, how is the new moda of this uh, public muralist that is very actual and is very beautiful and is uh, related to street art, for example, in New York? But how difficult at the same time is to speak about one phenomenon, phenomenon, phenomenon that we have had for a long time in Basque Country and any, anybody wants to speak about that because it really is making a panic on the people. What, what I think, you know, what is, what is significant, we talk about uh, like Guernica, we are in Guernica, okay, so uh, and by chance, the artists are German. <laughs> so, so I think that uh, we shouldn't we shouldn't give up on the on the perpetrator on the on the other side. Um, there is there is uh, I mean there wouldn't be memory. The, the, the whole memory discourse and so on, which I hope will not stop at the gates of Auschwitz, but will become something more inclusive in terms of what Europe brought to the world, which is our story. Our story. Not their story, our story. And. Uh, so, so, I mean, if this happens, the European society will be, uh, I mean, will be a, a very, a very much more interesting and uh, human, or human, difficult to say, yeah, after Auschwitz. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes. it will be more, more uh, fascinating, more open, and so on society. And what we are living now in Europe between the people who have been in communism and who didn't go through self-criticism, they are now totally, they say, where's my nature? Where's my, where's my symbols? Where's my enemy? So I hope that that the that the memory discourse doesn't stop at the gate of Auschwitz. Uh, I know that this can be uh, read in different ways. What I say, like a, like a way of uh, you know make it a little bit easier for the Germans. But but it's not the it's not the problem. The, the problem uh, there is. There's even a kind of avant-gardism coming out of the of the of the problematic of shame and and guilt that is dangerous. 
I always said it's not Mercedes, it's Auschwitz. Yes. <laughs> there is a, a new book of Menasse, uh, the writer. Uh, uh, it's now in Germany uh, very famous. He got last year the uh, uh, has a Deutschen Book Prize. Uh, he wrote about Brussels and the European uh, institutions and all this that goes uh, again that falls apart uh, to a different nationalism and uh, the end of the book is Europe, uh, uh, Europe needs a new capital but not Paris, not, not Berlin, not. the capital <coughs> of Europe should be Auschwitz. Well, it was your Tuesday. It's a provocation. Let me, let me, uh, let me uh, get out first. Bueno, eh, ir a HMS es la única... Vale, vale, vale. vale. Eh, bueno, voy a hacer la pregunta en castellano para que luego ir a me ayude. Eh, no sé si es impresión mía, pero da la sensación de que precisamente por esa constante reinterpretación de la memoria eh, hemos... Vale. Eh, eh, he doesn't know if it's his impression, but because of this constant reinterpretation of memory hemos pasado del concepto de monumento como eh, poco como, como antes decía Dominique ¿no? como algo que, que es mm, físico que tiene, que tiene una imagen que rememora casi hasta los fantasmas de los que hablaba Dominique we have passed from that concept of monument like something physical something that has an image something that Remembrates or commemorate that spectral that uh, Dominic mentioned before. A un espacio, casi un rincón de pensar, un espacio vacío donde pensamos. To an empty space in which we think about. Ese es el futuro de los de los memoriales de, del pasado. Ese es el futuro de o, o seguimos aún arrastrando una imagen de de querer participar como artistas, de querer crear objetos como artistas. Do you think this is the future of the memorials, uh, a place to think and not so physical, or still do we want to participate? Como creadores, como artistas. As, as creators, as artists, what do you think? Yes, I think uh, art is a language. Art can be a part of um, interaction and participation. And so Horst and mine and also Jochen's um, ideas and proposals and projects um, give you a hand, offers you a hand, mm -hmm. takes you to, to another dimension of uh, reconciliation, thinking about things and open your minds. Um, opens discussions and debates, opens also uh, silencing, uh, silencing in families like here in uh, Spain, where 40 years of uh, Franco uh, totalism puts the sediments of history down to kind of stone, concrete uh, situation until uh, nowadays, so just uh, yesterday with the, with the new election things, um, probably this is, could be a chance in democracy now and open, open things like art is offering to, to find a kind of language, to, to find uh, a way to, to talk about things which are not um, concerned for many, many years, like here or in Germany also. 
we are also always children of what happens and in, in the future things like I mentioned before uh, w while we are uh, developing new weapons uh, selling new weapons all over the world and um, creating are part of creating new conflicts I, I think uh, both possibilities will exist because uh, Volker Knigge told me a lesson once in the Appellplatz in Buchenwald in front of our warmed up plate there uh, because uh, there was uh, he uh, wanted a oratic uh, space around the plate for the ceremonies and I wanted to only do this by uh, corners, wooden corners and he told me no you have to do it in uh, uh, steel and so because uh, now the old survivors from Poland and so they come here they don't understand your work uh, if you want uh, to do avant-garde work go to gallery go to the museum but here <laughs> is also the right of the, you have uh, you have to respect these people also and, and they, these are the people these are not the visitor of the museum the survivors it was 50 years uh, liberation of uh, Buchenwald and, and this is uh, of course the avant-garde uh, creates uh, the counter monuments, uh, the empty space, uh, but uh, there will be uh, exist always uh, the other wish to build uh, real uh, 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 monuments with a memorial wall by marble and bronze. And uh, I am not sure with all this nationalism in which direction we are going now. In Saarschott Fountain, uh, in front of the city hall in Kassel, I could never build in this time. It, it was only uh, in, uh, in the 80s, so it was possibly possible, but uh, uh, later, I, I think not now. And this is a, a compromise again, uh, a concentration camp or a memorial place is not a gallery, not a museum. It's the reason that uh, memorials were so in the art scene. It was uh, as uh, the big artist uh, uh, yeah, made a round or or a They they didn't want. To, uh, to do memorials because it uh, was the best thing that you could do as a sculptor in the art scene. But uh, they have the rights, of course, uh, we are not, uh, that's the problem we have with our art and with the memory and with the victims and with the persecutors. They all have a different view. Thank you, Mieszke. I think you must be hungry now yeah. after. Okay. 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 <risa> ¿Cuál sería el límite o la tolerancia de la, de la iconografía de esa, de esa ideología dominante? ¿Cuál sería el de iconografía del fascismo? Que en sí mismo puede ser valiosa, puede tener contos elementos, y lo digo por tres experiencias, el monumento de los caídos de Pamplona, el escudo franquista en el centro de Bilbao y una historia personal que en tiempos de estudiante con otros quise dinamitar el monumento de los caídos en Barcelona delante del Palacio Pedralbes 
y me dijeron, espera un poco, espera un poco, que al final te gustará. Es decir, aquello que era para los caídos podía ser para no sé qué. So, uh, he's mentioning that iconography dominant of that moment of fascism, that in a way can be turned on the other side, like for example, the monument of los caídos, the symbol of Franco in, in the center of Bilbao, or another monument in Barcelona that he wanted to be dynamite <laughs> when he was young, mm -hmm. and some friends told him, wait, wait, and finally you will like it. Oh, like <laughs> the conception of no? So, in which way? No, 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 Me gusta la situación en Adore, okay. yes, uh, I, I like the situation in Pamplona with this only, with this tapas, uh, with this panels. Uh, yes, with the panels on the escudo uh, there, on the sim symbols, there is already a concept work. They are still there. There is only a small, <laughs> a, a, a small. There is una. There is una latencia. Uh, the, uh, yeah, he's when, more talking about the building itself. The, 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 the building itself. Church. Uh, the, the church uh, needs a context. Needs a context. Needs, needs a context and uh, there are a lot of possibilities uh, to, to break. Uh, I, I have a, a photograph uh, how Liebeskin uh, handled such a building. Would you like to see that? No, or, or later we have lots of time. Hmm? Um, uh, uh, Wessler, Pope Wester, uh, er, uh, romper la arquitectura, pero no demolir todo y uh, cambiar a un museo de la guerra civil y abrir toda la situación, toda la, la plaza. Es muy simple. Fue uh, la plaza de, de... la plaza, ¿cómo se llama? Eh, este... Eh, no, eh, la plaza de un, un otro... Con de Rodesno. Eh, con eh, con de Rodesno y se cambió en Plaza de la Libertad. Pero cuando eh, ves en Google, Google dice todavía la memoria, la memoria de Google dice Conde de Rodesno, Conde de Rodesno es muy pequeño al lado uh, Plaza de Libertad, Google tiene una memoria muy buena, pero eh, no sirve cambiar los nombres de la plaza, hay que actuar. In Rome, for example, there is one obelisk mm -hmm. uh, in, in honor of uh, Mussolini. Mm -hmm. It's only one thing mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. it, it is kept there. Mm -hmm. If you think that something like this should be kept, some parts that remember that part of the history, uh, in your opinion? Uh, yes, but only, uh, 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 only with the context. For example, it's a, uh, it's a next uh, <laughs> a quotation of uh, Volker Knigge, the director of Buchenwald. Uh, uh, again, uh, there is a big monument in Buchenwald of the communist time, and he uh, left it and he take care of it, but he built a small museum uh, with all the, which uh, uh, with the documentation. Uh, of this monument, with all the story, history of this monument, and, the, 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 uh, and so it works. I think uh, it's, um, we are now at a, at a point 
that um, there is a lot of information, works, uh, initiatives that have been realized and uh, the Berlin is as a, as a city, not as a monument, as a city is a, is a phenomenon because uh, I mean this is a place where people go to get the bad news. <laughs> There's, there's, I mean, to say that there, there is buses would be uh, not describing it really. It is, the city is flooded by people who are guides of history, self pop-up guides. Uh, I know a lot of students who do that six hours a day. It's the whole city is a super supra monumental memorial and the reality reality and the, the fermentation of the reality artistic um, uh, pedagogic uh, therapeutic I don't know what the, tr the treatment all by all the professions reunited that are there in the humanities to explain what you cannot understand without them, all this is hyperactive. I mean, there is, you can't go 100 meters without, without an, an, an information, a good work, and so on. The situation is it is not sure how the next elections look like. Here we are at the, at the, at the center of the Western Renaissance movement. We are in the middle of self-confession, of self-understanding, self-criticism and, and inclusiveness. But it's still all top down. It's all coming from the elite and it all goes to the uneducators. And there is a big, 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 a big uh, tendency in Europe for the moment the criticism of the elite. We've had the explanation, we've had the, the information, and so on and so on. And since the war, in, in German newspapers, were regularly true, good, perfect explanations with some photographs from the time in the media. And I ask myself, was that the tunnel through which the animal came to our days, mm -hmm. came yes. to us. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. It was all the, in the Spiegel, in all the, the, the very mm -hmm. uh, critical, critical media, was every week a new story about this detail out of the Führer bunker, of the bunker of the Führer, or this detail out of the, of the thing, all in the name of science, all in the name of information, all in the name of betterment of our society. I ask myself if this was the way how to bring the undercover interest to hear. Bueno, esta pregunta va un poco dirigida a Dominique para que participemos un poco todos. This question is for you, Dominique. Es, es tangencial, es muy fácil. Eh, Voy a empezar con una anécdota muy cortita. Eh, 
El otro día eh, había tres alumnos. He's going to tell an anecdote. The other day there were three students. Internacionales, no solo de aquí. International students, not only from here. Planeando un viaje por Europa. Planning a trip around Europe. Y uno de ellos aconsejaba a una alumna francesa. Le decía, un buen destino es Amsterdam. And one, uh, one of them told to another colleague, French colleague, a good destination for this uh, travel around Europe is Amsterdam. Porque está muy, muy barato el vuelo con, con Ryanair. Because the flight is very cheap with Ryanair. Pero aparte hay muchos museos interesantes. Por ejemplo, and apart from that, there are very interesting museums, for example, eh, el de una chica que estuvo encerrada en una casa. Of, uh, one, of girl, one girl that was uh, hidden in a house. Y que escribió un diario. And y wrote que era a diary, judía. and uh, she was Jew. La respuesta de otro de los alumnos fue, escribió un diario porque era judía. The answer of the other student was, did, did she wrote a diary because she was Jew? Mi pregunta es, a raíz de todo esto, ¿no tenemos una amenaza más potente que la has nombrado tú, más potente de que, que esto de perder la memoria, que puede ser el turismo de, los, de nuestros monumentos o de nuestros memoriales? So if we don't have uh, one menace of, of this, no, the, the creation of this tourism of those monuments of those places, no, and if it's that cannot be a, a big uh, threat or menace. Si, en fait, si tu ne penses pas que c'est une menace, en fait, c'est le tourisme, en fait, un peu euh, autour de la mémoire, en fait, on ne rentre pas dans les détails, si je ne sais pas hein, si l'argent ne risque pas d'arrêter justement sur la surface, ça va être juste là. Je crois que c'est un peu plus important. Je ne sais pas parce que je ne travaille pas, je ne fais pas une interview sur les gens qui visitent les gens. Visiting museum and so on, but what I know is that uh, in France we have someone who's made really interesting work about people who are visiting museum, and it shows that when somebody uh, doesn't care about the device, in fact, we all see that it's because the device is, is good one, isn't a good one, or it's a good one. Uh, uh, but uh, it shows that on the contrary. Sometimes it's because it's very interesting, but uh, he, he has already understood stuff. So I think it's very difficult to answer to that. Because it really depends on people, on their background, and on their feelings. And it's the same problem when I'm a Es el mismo problema cuando es sobre las visitas a los campos. Siempre hay gente que se queja de la actitud que tienen los jóvenes o las personas uh, en los campos. Y... Es el mismo problema cuando los estudiantes o algunas personas visitan los campos de concentración, ¿no? Y con qué actitud tienen en esas visitas, ¿no? Pero eso no significa que no estén interesados y no podemos decir lo que está en alguien's mente. Perhaps it means that they don't have enough information, or superficial information, but not really information deeply on what, where they are, you know? They know that it's a concentration camp, but... Eso me recuerda, hace poco pasó la chica que visitó el Memorial Judío en Berlín, que se sacaba unos selfies, y cogió el artista y hizo un fotomontaje con ella detrás de... Ah, con los campos. Sí, es mencionando a esa chica que era una gran controversia de las personas que estaban tomando selfies en ese gran monumento en Berlín, ¿no? Y este artista que did it in a, another way, you know, and put those people making the selfies and the bodies of, of the people. So this controversy, no, this use or... <laughs> but, I, but I think, you see, if you take a group of people like this, uh, we're thinking about over and or the morning or these things. But there is our life, 
And if, if we would be, everybody of us, would be have a militant attitude in our own in our own place, it, it, it would perhaps be the biggest chance that we have to, to change Europe. You know, I mean, um, I think we we, we always talk about uh, an issue. You know, we have an issue with the past. Because it's easier. It's <laughs> like when you mention somebody mention no. How you, can you be uh, uh, do the best monument not in your place? No, yeah. <laughs> we we are very powerful. Mm. <laughs> powerful people. I know. <laughs> uh, but I think uh, like we are not. Uh, no. So so powerful because we are doing this monument since so many years and we have uh, a, a, a right wing AfD party which is uh, growing as the same percent, uh, percentage as the socialist, the social democrats. And and something is going wrong. I wouldn't like myself to be uh, in that way uh, successful. No, no. So in a debate some years ago, uh, together with Leo Spitzer and Marianne Hirsch, we sat uh, around like here, and we were, in, in the end, we had a sentence that's going like this, the best monument is that one that is not necessary. <laughs> Yeah, so that is so the best monument is yeah, well, the when it is replaced by people. Well, well people. that's what would I what that yes. is that I say people are the best mm -hmm. monument. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think you But that is the mm -hmm. that is the militant attitude, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that that we we mm -hmm. uh, I mean Guernica is perfect, you know, like, I mean, it's a, not a big place, so it's, you know, you can't really think about doing something in a context. Just this. I think your real power is that you can change the meaning of the place. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> for me it was, I, Guernica, for me, was always this. Yeah. And this until today, until this moment, uh, it's for me uh, to get the reality, the city together. Uh, what I had in my memory, it is completely different. Uh, as an artist, Gernika was an abstract thing. Was what is it? But now I am here discussing about it's it's uh, this is my life in this moment to get this together. <laughs> and and the museum is a scharnier. How do you uh, call it? In a door, you have a, a door angle. Yes, mm -hmm. it's a door angle. Uh, the museum here is for me a bit the door angle between the situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.